The film begins by showing a single youngster named Finn, who has just awoke from his sleep. He lives with his older brother, Jake, and his brother's girlfriend, Mia, in the same house. Finn's life wasn't quite as good as the other youngsters. Because his father worked abroad and his mother died while he was a child. Finn spends more time at school every day and never misses a school. Instead of studying, he go to school with his pals Whiteley and Joel to annoy everyone. A female teacher, in fact, is asked to dinner with his red-jacketed friend. Whiteley, his red-jacketed classmate, is the most discourteous of this three students. On the other hand, we are shown a man who has just finished parking his car at the school. At that time, Finn and his friends worked together to make the man's car scratch. Even at school, they still had time to carry a knife which is clearly a prohibited object. Without a second thought, the car that didn't know who it belonged to is slashed with a bad word. From their expressions, no one felt guilty at all. During gym class, Finn with his rude behavior even deliberately did not bring sports attire. But instead of apologizing, Finn even insults his gym teacher with offensive words. Likewise with his friends, Finn also very difficult to handle. Even the gym teacher didn't know what to do anymore. In the afternoon, Finn is invited by his brother's girlfriend Mia to go swimming with them. Mia who is dating Jake already lives in one house because Mia has a bad relationship with her mother. The point is, the three of them live without parental control at all. As a result, their behavior is unrestricted, and they can act in whatever they want. The next day at the school a new language teacher, Mr. Gale arrived. Mr. Gale's first day of teaching at the school was not so good. Worse yet, when he was just explaining about what books to use, Joel immediately made fun of Mr. Gale and yelled at him rudely. Instead of being well received, Mr. Gale was said to be stinky and ridiculed by his own students. Even though his intention was very good to provide education to his students. Whiteley who was in the class also climbed into the chair and didn't care about Mr. Gale shouting. Immediately, Joel walks straight to front of the class and put the gum in Mr. Gale's hair. If it's like this, the teacher, whatever he or she is, will undoubtedly have anger. Whether it's a girl student or a boy student, one class is equally insolent. Mr. Gale was angry and mumbled while controlling his feelings. Whiteley, on the other hand, didn't feel sorry for Mr. Gale and challenged him to a fight. Whiteley was not happy with Mr. Gale's gaze that was fixed on him, but Mr. Gale ignored him and, and continued to explain to his students what they were going to study. Finn, Whiteley and Joel with the bad plans went to a shop after school to buy cigarettes. Finn, on the other hand, grabbed one bottle of drink and was caught by the shop owner. The three of them rushed to an empty field, far away from the shop owner's chase. They being hated so much that the small children even made fun of the three of them. Finn, Whiteley and Joel's close relationship makes them inseparable both inside and outside school. Three of them are not properly monitored by their parents and act irresponsibly, but the difference is that Joel still has hope to get better. Joel said that his father would bring him to join the military school, whereas Whiteley and Finn don't know what they are going to do after they graduate. That's if they can graduate with such a brutal nature. At night, Finn just arrived at the house and saw Jake seducing Mia to make love. Seeing that, Finn didn't go up to the room and went downstairs again. In fact, when Finn is at home, he is a pretty quiet man. He doesn't even talk to his brother or Mia very much. Finn will have breakfast before going to school in the morning. He had his 16th birthday today, and Mia wished to him immediately about it. Jake, on the other hand, not giving any wishes. Jake even tells Finn to get his own place and stop living with them. Mia felt remorse for Jake's statements at this point, and Finn quickly responded that this house belonged to their father. He is upset with his own brother, who already act good since he pays the house's rent. Finn spent the entire day with Whiteley, from morning to late. To fill their boredom, they openly destroy bicycles belonging to residents. It's really the definition of an immoral person that causes terrible things to innocent people. When they were finished, they walked as far as they could along the highway. But suddenly, their heads were hit from behind by someone. At that time they were kidnapped and taken away by car. Then, Finn and Whiteley who were already bleeding were immediately dragged into a room. 
They were chained and padlocked so they couldn't move an inch. That guy also deliberately drilled the table to make holes, so that thin and whitely hands could be tied using a thin rope. This method is the most effective way to make them both can't move. That guy, on the other hand, had also set up a blackboard in the room. Then, Finn pees in his pants when he sees Whiteley unconscious. Turns out, the mysterious person actually is their new teacher, Mr. Gale. Without saying much, Mr. Gale explains the lesson material for the day. Because today the material is nouns, then Mr. Gale gives an example for each object that is there. Like hammers, nails, and nail gun. And not long after, Mr. Gale told Finn to look up every meaning of the word he mentioned in the dictionary. Every chance, Finn only has 10 seconds and if Finn can't find the word in the dictionary, then his hand will be impaled with nails. This time Finn was asked to find the meaning of the inspiration word. With panic and fear, Finn kept looking and luckily he managed to find the word. It doesn't stop there, if Finn has found the word in the dictionary, he must read the meaning and remember it in his mind. Mr. Gale also said that for every explanation and question he gave, a test will be held at the end of the meeting. Finn is really forced every time to quickly open the dictionary. Mr. Gale also said that for every explanation and question he gave, a test will be held at the end of the meeting. Mr. Gale gives each of these orders suddenly and unexpectedly by Finn. Mr. Gale believes that in learning activities, motivation is needed. Therefore, he has his own way to motivate his students who are too disrespectful. Then Finn tells Mr. Gale that Whiteley has been dying and unconscious for a long time. However, Mr. Gale instead taped Finn's mouth and nailed his hand with nails. He said that Finn did not understand at all the essence of this class. Mr. Gale wants his students to feel what is called pain because in life, nothing goes without pain. Well, it is possible that Mr. Gale's way of learning, has already implemented the 2100 curriculum. After that, he resumed learning activities and explained everything on the blackboard. If there is a word that is complicated, he tells Finn to open a dictionary and look it up. But amazingly, with 10 seconds, Finn always managed to find the words he asked. In this condition, Finn was forced even though he didn't want it but he have to remember all the explanations. In Mr. Gale's classroom, there is a 30 seconds break for drinking a glass of water. Finn was immediately given a drink by Mr. Gale and so did Whiteley who was unconscious. The longer this class lasts, the more sadistic Mr. Gale is as a psychopath teacher. This time the challenge becomes more complicated and Finn is told to find each word in only 7 seconds. If he could not answer, then he would be impaled with a nail gun. But sure enough, Finn couldn't answer and his hand was immediately shot with a nail gun. Mr. Gale's emotional state only gets worse when Whiteley has been unconscious for a long time. As a result of Whiteley's actions before, Mr. Gale also deliberately impales Whiteley's hand with a nail gun. Coupled with a second nail that was hammered manually with a hammer. The atmosphere turned even more chaotic, and Mr. Gale was not in the mood to educate the two of them. On the other hand, Mia, who is with Jake, is concerned about why Finn isn't returning home. He attempted to contact Finn, but his phone was not active. Mia also sends a message to Finn in the hope that it will be read. But Jake saw it and immediately became jealous of Mia. Jake says what's so important about Finn that you're looking for him. In the end, Jake uttered harsh words and made Mia leave the house. Mia is also threatened not to return to the house again and go as far away from the house as Finn. Mia who walked far from Jake's house, met Joel who was waiting for his father to pick him up. Joel was very lucky because today he didn't play with Finn and Whiteley, because he was invited by his father to join military school. At that time Mia asked Joel to call Finn but still he didn't pick up at all. Yeah. From here we can see that even a friend can only be with us when we are happy, but when we are in a difficult condition, very few friends are willing to help us. Then, Mia walks in the middle of the night alone and hopes to meet Finn. After a while, she saw a parked car with scuff marks on the back of the body, but suddenly from a distance Mia was chased by a man, and she ran away as best he could. Unfortunately, she was caught by that man. And it was clear that the man was Mr. Gale. Then, Mia was brought into the room and held together with the two of them. Mr. Gale says he already knew someone would be looking for Finn or Whiteley and sure enough, the long-awaited prey had arrived by accident. This time the number of students from Mr. Gale was three people. Learning activities are not getting more exciting but even more sadistic. 
At that moment Mr. Gale told Whiteley to read a meaning from the dictionary, but Whiteley instead banged Mr. Gale's head against his own head. It didn't take long for Mr. Gale to take a nail gun and shoot it into Whiteley's neck. Well, from this it was clear that Whiteley had to die with the nail pierced through his neck. In such hysterical conditions, Mr. Gale said that he was able to become like this, because the demands of his parents who forced him to study too much. Therefore, if there are students who are lazy, he will provide education in such a brutal way. Then Finn has entered the exam session and he has to answer all the questions that are given quickly. This is the last session which is certainly really stressful for Finn and Mia. Before it begins, Mr. Gale tells her that Mia will be the victim, if Finn incorrectly answers any of his questions. For one question, Mia's head will be pricked with a nail. Amazingly, question after question given by Mr. Gale was successfully answered by Finn. At that time, Mr. Gale was proud that the method he applied succeeded in making Finn a genius. At the same time, Mia secretly wanted to take the nail that was on Whiteley's neck. When it was taken, Mia immediately stuck the nail right into Mr. Gale's neck. She also let go of the rope in Finn's hand, but unfortunately Mia's head was hit with a hammer from behind. With so little time, Finn pulled his hand away from the nail. Finn also managed to pick up the fallen knife and immediately cut both thumbs in Mr. Gale's hand. With the thumbs loose, he would have a hard time taking anything with his own hands. The unwise thing is, Finn allowed Mr. Gale to stand up under the pretext of taking the keys so they could escape from here. But Mr. Gale lied and he just stepped on Finn many times. Luckily, Mia had regained consciousness and she immediately hit Mr. Gale with a hammer. Time and time again she hit Mr. Gale with so much emotion that his head was crushed. At that time, Mia also managed to kill Mr. Gale and she found the Kiki to escape from the house. They walked alone down the street in the middle of the night to return home. The cool thing is, when they got home they both kicked Jake out of the house. How not, Jake can only be steady and not help at all. In the end, they both spent time watching TV and the movie ended. To change your